Hey, you guys, we are back to do another review of the Braxton. I think that's what it's called. So, yeah, in my opinion, I think they're trying to exploit the kill. Because y'all ain't got nothing else to talk about. Y'all ain't got nothing else to talk about. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into it. We keep it real. What's going on, Coed Campos? How y'all doing tonight? Welcome back to another video, Courtney and Eddie. I'm Eddie, aka E Dub. This is my lovely wife right here. What's your name, baby? Tell me your name. Tell them. Courtney, also known as Coco. That's right. Her name is Courtney, also known as Coco. This right here is Courtney and Eddie. This channel is all about relationship, reviews, entertainment. It's all about our whole time staff. It's all about First Amendment rights. I don't know why it came out like that. Too much politics you've been watching. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's all about our, our famous, famous rants and jokes. And tonight, we're going to be talking about the Braxes. And I totally agree with you. They exploited little Kevin. They exploited Tracy. And Tracy and little Kevin, they are connected. Right. And I think they, they, they are exploiting that whole time, not timeline, that storyline. Yeah. And it's sad that they, it little Kevin getting pumped out like that. Yeah. And then the fact, too, that they can't, they don't want Big Kev on the show. Yeah, but if y'all want storyline, bring Big Kev to the show. Exactly. So we can hear his side of the story. Exactly. And then so we can see how, you know, because even Mr. Braxton <laughs> said, you know, Big Kev, little Kev need counsel. They do. Together. They, you know what I'm really saying? They really do. Following song. You're right. They, they absolutely do. Yeah, but I, but I just don't understand why. Some people just want to be on TV. And so they had no reason to be on TV. So they said, okay, let's get, they use Tracy and LaKel as a storyline so we can have something to talk about. And so they can get some money. You and think they, you think they get paid a lot for this? Not, this not, not necessarily they get paid a lot, but a little money is better than no money. And then, too, I don't know they what? Like okay, that. let's, okay. No, then, don't. too, Tawanda, no, excuse me, no, she ain't doing that. But um, Tamar, can show the stuff that she got going on. So, you, you know, know what I'm at the end of the show, it says Tamar Braxton production. Oh, does it? Yes, in the credits. Well, I know that they, they yeah. are all executive producers. So, but they I, got I more... thought Tamar didn't want nothing to do with the show, though. That's what she said, Chad. If you didn't want nothing to do with the show, why you got your name as Tamar Braxton production in the credits? Honey, because she told Carlos King, and I don't even know uh... why. They even had that segment on there because you can go to his YouTube channel and watch that. Why we got to put it on here? Oh, Carlos got a YouTube channel. He one of us. You a co-worker, Carlos? He's a co-worker. You a co-worker. He's going to be at the next union meeting. Carlos, what you got something to say, homie? Yeah, he a co-worker. So you could have went over there to our co-worker YouTube channel to watch that whole interview. Yeah. So, yeah. that. But the fact, too, that Tamar wanted, they have nothing to talk about. If it ain't Tracy... They have absolutely nothing to talk about. And then Tony, of course, she's going to publicize what she got going on because she ain't doing the res residency in Vegas. So with Cedric Entertainment, it looked like he was out of breath on that next uh, episode. Well, you know, I understand they got the market. Exactly. I get we it. get that. You know But I'm not saying? on the backs of Tracy and exactly. Kevin. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, really and truly, this wasn't nothing to talk about. Like I said, if it weren't for Tracy, they wouldn't have absolutely nothing to talk about. So, you know, uh, Miss E and, and Tony sitting down, and so Tony gonna set Miss E up on a date. How many times we don't watch the seasons after seasons after season where Miss 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 E then went on a date? She don't you know like why? him. She not with him. You know why? Miss E is a man eater, boy. She's an old man eater. It's like like every season. Say old school. You just no. say old. Yeah, every season that I've been watching in Braxton, they set up, set up with a date. He's too young. He's too old. He's too purple. Come on, Miss E. What's your style? What she said she wanted? She what wanted a man. Tall, but she said you gotta have a bag. Well, he, why does he have to have a bag? Don't she have her own bag? But still, she don't want to be with no broke man. I'm not saying he has to be. Well, first of all, what's the definition of having a bag? Money. I know that, but how much money are you talking? Oh about? no, it depends on the person. 
So yeah. Do I have a bag? Do I have a bag? Oh, you said I got a lunch bag. <laughs> <laughs> so it depends on the person. So um, but yeah, and what they're looking for. So yeah, that's gonna be that thing. And um Tamar talking to Carlos King. If y'all wanna watch, y'all can go over to his YouTube channel hey, yo, and stuff the, like pause, that. Pause, pause. Carlos, camouflage Carlos. Bruh, are you that desperate that you gotta leave your own network to go to another network to get recognition? What is it with you? Your show's not doing too well now, bro. So you got to go on other people's shows? Come on, man. I don't see Andy doing that. What's that, Andy? He don't do that. I don't see no producer up. Uh, Will Packer don't do that. I don't see no producer up front and talking to other people while they got their own shows or movies going on. I don't see no producer. Now, Andy has a podcast. Now, Carlos started with a podcast. and then He tried to somebody... do everything Andy did. Yeah. It just didn't work, okay. Yeah. And you know, people say, "Why are y'all so hard on Carlos?" Oh, me personally, I'm so hard on Carlos. Me personally, I think Carlos destroyed lives. That's the reason why. You know, what I'm saying that one of his shows on on own, you know, somebody unalive themselves. You know, what I'm saying, but they don't really care about it. He had people fighting one another. It's just so much toxicity with his shows, and he thrives off of it. And, you know, and so I just have the issue with it. You know, you, you ruin people's lives just for views. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. People say, oh, you don't. Oh, and then some, I mean, well, I think Andy been sued for some of that, too, as well. Man, so, I mean, yeah. that, that's true, but I don't see Andy. You don't see Andy at all because you don't watch nothing to end the show. I watched <laughs> Atlanta Housewives for a little bit. And uh, Carlos got fired from that, right? He did. Okay, why? Tell me why. Why did he get fired? He was destroying life. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, so Tamar was just saying as far as um, she just basically a friend to the show. You know, he asked a whole bunch of questions and stuff like that. You know, Tamar said um, she's a friend to the to this show to to this show, the Braxton. So well, you got your name on the show. All right, go ahead. And she tried to say, you know, the first time, you know, it was real when she said she was going to take her on life and she was doing all that and the show was toxic and all that stuff. But now they got different productions, different producers and all that stuff. So I guess she went on over there. But we're going to hear her complaining in the next episode, Chappie. And then you and, and, and I meant to talk about how Tamar went on the platforms along with her. Uh, they call him Colonel Sanders. On different, I, don't, I forgot who said it, but Kyle um, and her and Colonel Sanders went on different ones, and they was talking about, you know, he said uh, he tried to steal her money, and he, she said it was my credit card, and and then he really and truly broke up with her via email, um, and got her told he don't want to be with her no more and get divorced. It was just really crazy to me, in my opinion. I think Tamar looking real crazy out here over there, look Colonel Sanders. Who's real, that? Uh, that white, boy, that white boy, that white man. White man. With that pushover light trumpet. Oh, 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 why why you gotta be white? Why you scream your man? Why you gotta be white? Because he is white. He is white. So yeah. She, she loves, she loves, she who she, she wants to love. Nothing wrong with that. <sighs> well, first of all, I love somebody that's gonna treat you right. Yeah, and not, I dog that, you that, out. That, that I totally agree with. She done been well, you gotta understand Tamar ever since the first season of the Braxton, she's been like going off the beaten path. You know what I'm saying? She has been kind of weird to me. Well, she needed to beat right on and back then in. She the shaved her hair off one time. Then she did this, she did that. And people say that she do a lot of stuff for attention. Yeah, it could be. You know, um, but yeah, so that right there was tragic in itself, and I hated to see her doing all that stuff. Nervous you know, breakdown basically. Yeah, over over that dude Vincent. that's like they got seven or eight children. Which one, Vincent? No, no, another no. guy. Colonel Sanders. You got her kids. About seven, eight children by four different baby mama. Oh, really? So yes. wow. And she went and married that man and man. he filed for divorce a couple months later. Man, Tamar. And she didn't even I know that understand. she didn't even know that they was getting a divorce. They was on a trip together. And he sent her an email when they was in Turks Turks and Caicos. Oh, he must have got a lot of money. He had an attorney. Uh, I don't mean nothing. Yeah, that show don't mean that. Uh, I see some attorneys right here still living. You know, one bedroom apartment. So you know it, it don't mean nothing, but you know, he first of all, you gotta take care of all them children. So, you know, eight but, kids. Yeah, it's about seven or eight kids. It could be six. How I don't many know. Baby them, got? A bunch. Oh, more man. than two. Man, you gonna sell for a man like that, Tay? And mom? then marry the man. And marry all these single men out here. It might not be a turn. Why not get a blue collar guy? 
that's what she need but she wants somebody that's why i don't think that's you know Taewon was... got it got the finances like that no more yeah. you know what i'm saying and that's why she'll go with a man that got some money that will dog her out supposedly got some money that will dog her out just for the sake of she bought you know that what little, that little chain and he was like mm, okay sibling some of the blue collar guys make six figures okay no they might not be millionaires but it makes six figures mm-hmm. and uh they treat you better, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, you go, ooh, not done truck trials. I ain't say truck trials. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, why these celebrities always go to the, you know, I know why they want somebody to bring something to the table. I get that. But if you can, every time you do it, you strike out. Maybe you need to change your your, your, your your pattern up. You know what I'm saying? Try something different. Maybe you need to just be by yourself and get you some good old therapy. Love yourself. Know who you are. Know what you want. Oh, yeah, and but, then you can date. Because but this, but Tamar this, seemed like she the one that got, I got to have a man. I got to have a man. But and the point is, me. you don't have to have a rich man all the time. Get a man that's going to treat you right. Would you rather have, well, I know you're going to say, I really have the money and get dogged out. Instead of having Who a good man, a lot of women would rather have a man to dog them out so they can have a good lifestyle instead of have a man to treat them right and don't have that much money. A lot of women would choose that. Uh, he broke. I I rather get dogged out by this guy that's six two. Well, and he it depends. No okay, so let's 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 define. You may be in a place where you don't have no funds right now coming in, but if you want that work, we can build together. We can make some. But if you lazy and you broke. I, can't do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some women are lazy. They don't want. They want somebody to take care of them, so they're gonna go. I was talking about the man lazy and broke. Well, I'm mean, just talking the women. They right. do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? They will find a man that's got a lot of money, so they won't have to work. Instead of getting a little man, y'all can build things together. You know what I'm saying? But they don't want some. I'm not saying all women. Some women don't. You no, know, they don't think that way. But it's it's it doesn't hurt to find a man that you can build something with. You know what I'm saying? Start star off at the ground floor and build it up. But you no, know, some people like that easy shortcut life. Well, you see where they got her, honey. Um, so n- enough about her chat. Anyway, so let's move on. So Miss E is meeting up with her girlfriend. So Ms. Oh, oh the girlfriend. Um I Judge about Prince. Who? Prince. Miss E is meeting up with you know her girl. No. Prince? She went on the blind date with Prince? Oh, I prefer on. <laughs> <laughs> Miss E is meeting up with her girlfriend, Miss um, Judge Maybelline, and um, that's all you want to say. And um, Marla Gibbs and Marla Gibbs' daughter. So they just is talking about and stuff like that. So that's when she says she want a man, honey, with a bag. And then Miss uh, Judge J J Beline, Judge Maybelline said a colossal. What is a colossal bag? Colossal me? Colossal one of the major pen. Wah, 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 wah. She Boo. said it. I just can't Boo. say it. Colossal. Which one is it? Huh? You wore one. Which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> the devil is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. Wait. Okay. I just said, what, what is it called? It's like that. You, you It's like that, huh? What you You don't put me on a flash like that. What? I didn't wear one of them bags. Okay, I can't. A closet bag one for your colon. Oh, oh, yeah, no, no, nah, he ain't wear one of them. Nah, he ain't wear one of them. Mm-mm. At all. Okay, you are, all right, all right, Ben, it's on now. It's all like Donkey Kong. Go ahead. So, anyway, so, um, so let's see. Tony had visited her son. He's modeling and stuff like that. I thought it was nice. He's so handsome. And, um, that's it's the one he, I, uh, that's, uh, artis- on, yeah. artistic. No, he's on the spectrum. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't think he is. I think it's her youngest. Okay. One. So, um, his name Denim. I don't know what her youngest is. Denim. Uh, Denim. Like the blue jeans. Mm-hmm. Hey, when he was born, she uh, uh, she looked at the, at the chair. Oh, it's the blue jeans over there. I'm gonna call him Denim. It's <laughs> 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 Denim or Denim or something like that. But I thought it was Denim. Uh, um. So Miss E going on her date, chat. The Prince boy. And she I, said, mm mm. Get somebody else to do with you is not the one, Chad. Hey, I thought he was a good dude. She said, he, he said, he said I, don't, I don't do this little fancy stuff. Ooh, he was down to I got black folk food. Yeah, he, he be the type of guy I hang out with. Hey, yeah, no that dude. He got that chain on. Yeah. He merged real. Man, it look, how, how you know it's not real? It looked too. He could have got that with a 401k. It, 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 it's social security chain. He could have bought that with. 
that man E said you is nothing with because she want a bag, honey. He got a bag. A bag of what? He got Fake a, he got a, a social security check. It is we supposed to see here? I don't know if we supposed to see here, yeah. but you know one thing about family, honey, they know how to edit stuff out. Is it time for us to go? Did they say anything to us? I guess we just gonna sit here. <laughs> Ooh, okay, Lizzie, I'm finna go. Your standards are too high. You need to lower your standards. Up. You know what I'm saying? It was nothing wrong with that. Gene. To me, I think that she just she enjoyed dating, right. going out with people. You know, Stop like, to be like so she was eighty. Bougie. 80, probably 70 or 80 some years. She looks good now. Whatever age she is, she looks good. But just enjoy whoever you want to go out with. Don't be serious if you don't want to be serious. Right. Just enjoy. Yeah, I know you're, that's what your husband, your ex-husband, that's what he That's doing. who he reminded me of. Yeah, that's why she looks like he's staying. That's yeah. probably so. I can't stand. He reminded yeah. me of. You remind me of something. You remind me of the G. The one I want to ride. You remind me of the plane. The one I want to fly. That's what she did. Okay. So uh, <laughs> now let's get into the uh, most serious part because we wanted to, you know, talk about this. The only reason we're talking about the whole video because we wouldn't even be watching this episode. Look here. So um, they show a, a scene where Look here was getting some counseling, and you know, probably it wasn't nothing that we was gonna see. And I do like the fact that we didn't see the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? I have- think. Some respect. Yeah, us. I think that I think a lot of it should have been private. To be honest, I don't think that we should have saw a lot of it. To be honest, I don't understand. I hope they paying him well for this, <clears throat> and I really and truly don't understand if he said, "Yeah, I want to be on there and share my." Life. I don't think that that's something that he said. I think that they coerced him into doing it and like people have said in the comments that you know he probably couldn't do any of this if he didn't get him permission right to he had use trace yeah, it right you right, know what i'm right. saying because, he's, he's, he, he is over her state right yeah uh before you go any further with that yeah you're right this is a serious moment uh i don't think look kev should go on the show no um, with his his health condition if stress gonna flare up his seizures and stuff i don't think he should be on the show nope uh he needs to be more concerned about his, you know, his health than more than more than more than anything else because, you know, having a seizure is sometimes can be real serious, especially if you have a bad one. And luckily, that somebody was with him when he had that seizure. Well, uh, they don't know what led up to it because you already jumped ahead. Oh, sorry. yeah, because you do. So anyway, um, so he was in there and he had the um. Seizure. He had the therapy with spirit. And so, you know, it was some things that they were talking about in, in there. He was talking about, you know, basically, you know, his wife left him and she was just saying that, you know, she didn't want to be married to him no more. Look, Kev has a lot going on. Mom passed away and his dad, was on, they on bad terms. His wife divorced him. All oh, just like. Back to back, man. That's a lot for anybody. Yeah, I don't care how strong you are. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's going to get to the point. It's going to get to you. To have, to have all of that happen just like that, man. For a young man like he is, that's a lot, man. That's yeah. A lot. And it seems like, um, you know, sometimes when people, like some kids, when they were kids or turning young adults, they go through things, you know what I'm saying? Like they experience life for real. Now some are sheltered from a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I don't know if he was sheltered from a lot of stuff, you know, Tracy may have caught him a lot. I don't know. And, and maybe he just didn't experience a lot of stuff, you know? First of all, how old, how old is, uh, look here? 21, um, um, so, you know, and so when certain stuff happened, it just, cause they didn't experience life. And so in that, you know, he was telling spirit, he just, this has been a bad year for him. And just like everything you said. And so as they, you know, that's the only thing they showed us. Appreciate that. That's the only thing. Cause I felt like all this stuff shouldn't be publicized. So, um, they, they showed us, they told us, you know, the little writing up there and said that after they took a break, you know, they all broke for lunch and everything. And, um, and they was waiting on Kev to come back up whatever but he was unresponsive i guess they went to check on he was unresponsive i said oh lord my my when they when i read that so my gosh my heart just sunk because you know it you know like um whitney houston she passed away Mm. and years later her daughter passed Mm. away with the same you know Mm. what i'm saying and um when when children sometimes lose their parents especially at at a young age especially if they was 
close with their parents, it'd be rough, you know, just like a spouse. You know, they say that when a spouse has been married for a long time, you know, when one passes away, then years later, whenever the other one passes. A lot of people don't believe in people dying from a, a broken heart. I do. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, if you marry somebody for a long period of time and that spouse passed away and that you know, the other spouse is by themselves and that's all they knew was that spouse, the depression sets in, they get depressed, they get down, their heart's broken, and, they, and, they, and it's like their whole body just goes down. Yeah. And they do pass away. And that's why I call dying from a broken heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. It's kind of like even um, Big Kev, the, the father. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that, you know, he that in that case, but you know, he was married for a long time. And some people your talent is different. Yeah. Um, and I got to see a um an interview with him and I forgot the, the channel name, but you know, he was just talking about that, you know, Tracy was his best friend, but you know, people correct me in in when I was saying that he had an outside child. Um, they said that that was never proven, but he said that somebody had seen him out somewhere with his grandchild. Now, he was married before, and he has a child from oh, his previous marriage. okay. That's probably what it was. Then. Okay. And, and he said somebody seen him out with a small child. And he's and assumed that was his that child. That assumed was his yeah, child. You know what and what went back and said, that's what he said. So, people be so quick to jump and misjudge people, man. Now, I think he did probably cheat on Trace in the past But did he have, have a child But outside. it don't seem like he had a child. That's what, that's, but boy, the people say, oh, he went outside and cheated on had an outside child and we saw him in the mall you don't know the whole freaking story that was his little grand it was grandchild from the previous marriage yeah and they already just feeling like they just uh just made this man into a bad person already uh, and I. Who? And I. what no, that's person. what you was gonna say no, you said, said villain <laughs> yeah, I, I see that that didn't sound right so good. yeah villain I, that's that person i said yeah so yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah that, that person we blocked in our comments you can't see us so i was gonna come at you i even went on your page try to say something but you blocked how you get over that i don't know <laughs> <laughs> and so anyway um so yeah he talked about that and then he was also just talking about like he did not talk about the practice you know how Tawanda had all that venom and hate she, for him, he, he and didn't, she, he didn't, he didn't, didn't even talk. In fact, you know, he's supposed to be doing an interview with some more YouTubers. I watch Sharia's world. So she interviewed with him Monday. Mm. So, but he said he want to keep it cordial. He don't want to bash nobody. He's not trying to come to bat. When I say that this man, I don't know his true character. I don't know. All I know, he was married to Tracy, and Tracy decided to stay married to that man in spite of the issues that they have, and couples have issues. So she chose to stay with him and say, hey, I'm going to ride and die with you and rock with you to the very end. Why do the, the Braxton have so much venom and hate if that was your sister, husband? You know what I'm saying? So What's the point? I don't care if it was something that was going on behind the scenes. She stayed. She chose to stay married to that man. So, um, yeah. so yeah, he was just saying he he didn't talk about the breakfast. He said, you know, he and he just talking about how he met Tracy and, and all that stuff, and it was her cooking that sold him. He was like, ooh, and so it that basically what he was talking about. But he he don't have no hate for nobody, and he don't want nobody to hate them as well on his behalf. So he just seemed like a real good dude, you know, mm -hmm. just really true, just trying to make it through the the grief of losing his wife because he said that was his best friend he was like tracy was down like she oh it, the dude that was interviewing him i think she used to he used to work with tracy mm -hmm. before they you know became big and stuff like that so everybody was just talking about how she was down to earth you know she'll cuss you out she'll you know love yeah, her. yeah she, she's like the, the the typical around the way girl you yeah. know what i'm saying you, you know you're somebody you can chill with you know you can talk to you know as your buddy she can make you laugh you know it's that's one thing about a woman I date back in the day. Uh, if she can make me laugh and I can be comfortable comfortable around her and we have a good conversation, oh man, that's that's you win you win half the battle right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and Tracy she not she was that type of woman. She can make you laugh. She can tell jokes. She was country, you know. And uh, she was just like like I said, she was just down to earth. You know? I can make you laugh. Cause, Cause you bring it back home. Cause yeah, but back in the day, if you can yeah, make me you laugh, can make me laugh. But sometimes you make me. Ooh. But that's what sold him, me making him laugh. That's why. Yeah, that's but sometimes why. you can pick and okay, probe and get on my skin, and and that's just a part of making you laugh. Okay, so you yeah, really take it off. Down. It's a whole, a whole. Okay, piece. I'll just sit there watching TV, like oh yeah, then I put the remote on my chest. 
There wasn't no chance. You, and, the, you propped it on your belly. No, I and let's keep it 100. And you, you got to make a that. joke about it. Ooh, look at that. You look like a big booty. And why I got to be a big booty? Why you just can't be sitting there and watching the TV? You didn't put it on your chest. I did put it on my chest. No, it propped right down your stomach. It was on the mouth of the heels. It was right there on the mouth of the heels. So anyway, so yeah. Oh, so, okay. so uh, but yeah, let's get back to this. So he was un unresponsive and, um, and then... <sighs> he was able to gain consciousness and come to find out that he had a seizure. So they went out there and, you know, they contacted Tawanda and she was on her way anyway. And so, you know, told her and they got him some medicine and, you know, call Miss E and all that stuff, whatever. So, um, you talk about that. So in the next thing you got, um, Miss E and Trina going to his hotel room to visit him. Oh, before oh, you go that far, when they was, uh, when Tawanda called, uh, little, uh, little Kev ex, you know, cause you know, she, you know, little Kev was sick and he had to fly out that night. Right. So she called, called, he had to go to court the next day Yeah. for the divorce. So she calls, uh, little Kev ex and asks her, could she kind of reschedule the court date because he was sick and he, you know, he, he's not healthy enough to fly out the next day. And the ex said, yeah. I, I, I will reschedule the court dates, give him some time to rest up. Now, go ahead and tell him what happened next the next day. Yeah, but uh, another thing, too, I'm so glad you said that part, that he said, you know, basically he was scared to stay by himself. So, see, you having seizures. And Tawanda said he ain't had no seizures when Tracy was living. All of this happened after she passed away. Stress. And it's due to stress. So he was a little afraid that, you know, um, he wasn't going to, you yeah. know what I'm saying? To go to sleep and be having a seizure. Well, they should not leave him alone nope. until they can kind of figure out what's going on with him and these seizures. Because mm -hmm. the reason why I've known people stayed by themselves and had a seizure in the middle of the night and never woke back up. Passed away. Passed away. You know, young people, and I'm talking about in their early 20s, you know, living by themselves, had a seizure in the middle of the night, nobody was there with them, and they passed away. So it's never it's never a good idea if you have seizures to be by yourself. Yep. So um, Tawana was like, "Well, we gonna call you, girl. Call calling him man. ain't nothing. He gonna if he don't yeah, answer the phone, right? You know, like I've been think I was I've been thought that Kevin don't need to stay by his hip period right uh -huh. now. Yeah. You know, move in with Mister Braxton or hey, reconcile with your dad and do something. But I don't think that it's wise for him in this moment. I pray that he's in a better place now." But to to be staying nowhere by itself, you know what I'm saying. So um, anyway, Miss um, E and Trina visit him in the hotel room to check on him and all that stuff, whatever. And he's just saying, you know, he got some bad news. Um, I think her name Olivia. She said that she wasn't gonna go to court, but she went on the court anyway, and she took full custody of their son, and she got the whole house. Boy, I was gonna say women, but people in general be so low down and cold i don't know what caused the divorce i cannot can i i think what caused the divorce was him grieving and he probably wasn't grieving properly and i think that when a person grieving they one can be very emotional they can go into a state of depression they can just not do nothing with their life and just be in a whole place of solitude like you know what i'm saying yeah, I get and, and not I in get an act there's no you know what I'm saying? No affection there because he, he grieving. I would assume the wife would be mature enough to understand that, show him some grace. This man just lost his mother. But I guess I guess not, you know, if that's the case, the reason why they got the, the divorce. That's just my <clears> assumption. Uh, but yeah, man, to get full custody of the child and take the man's house, you know, like, and the man just lost his mom. Dang, how cold? Yeah, she get, and I think she got him arrested. I think. Yeah, she, yeah. But dang, how cold can you be, sister? How cold can you be? How cold can you be? But like I said, what goes around comes around. That's the truth, honey. That is. She so gonna give a man a new man, and he gonna do her the same way Take she did him. She got. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. Um. Miss E and Trina was really truly. Trying not to be too alone. I could tell Trina yeah. was fighting back tears. Yeah, she was. I can tell because they he, they felt like if they was if they was get upset, they would upset him more, and he just would probably have another seizure. Mm -hmm. So they was like trying to compose themselves mm -hmm. on why he was telling them that. Mm -hmm. But man, you know, 
I feel bad for Lil' Kel. Yeah. I really do, man. Like I said, I don't think he needs to be on the show. I think he needs to be off somewhere again, like I said, therapy, counseling, uh, you know, get his life together, man. But man, that's a lot, man. I wish him the best, but yeah, I, I also too. wish that they would. That's it. Like, if you ain't showing him reconciling with his dad or counseling with his dad, mm. well, not interested. Not interested. Not not interested at all. So yeah, we don't want to see y'all doing whatever y'all do, child, because y'all can do that on the Instagram, child. No, we ain't got to no. see it. No, Tawana got to be on there. Oh, show. Tawana ain't doing that. Yeah, she, she, she really. That's the only time they showed at the end. I said, Ooh, praise the Lord. Yeah, she went on there doing nothing. That's your favorite one, Tawana. She's gonna inbox you. Hey, Miss Courtney, uh, can I do an interview with you? What you say? I would just leave it on unread. Damn. Yeah, just uh, delete it so I won't even look at it no more. Cold sister. I'm <laughs> <laughs> saying, uh, yeah, we, after we do an interview with Big Kim, so yeah, so cold sister. but anyway, on that note, y'all, that's all it, for the Braxton. Y'all ain't missing nothing, um, because a lot of people said they can't watch it, they're not gonna watch it. Because of you know missing Tracy so much, mm. and then um they was like they're just not interested in anything else. So yeah, I think everybody feels the same way we feel. You know uh, that they using Tracy and Kel for a storyline. They feel like it, it's kind of disgusting to do that. You know, like oh y'all gonna use somebody that's passed away as a storyline right. to get money, and people are like oh they just turned off about that. And then they said that they keep saying, this is what Tracy wanted. This is what Tracy wanted. Well, that time that Tracy wanted to continue to do the show, y'all was acting a fool, honey, protesting and stuff like that. So is this really what Tracy wanted? But I get it. Tracy was passing away. Mm -hmm. She probably was relinquishing all that pain, yeah. everything. Do what you want to do. Just be happy. You know right. what I'm saying? She finna go on, on so it just be happy. So she probably did say, because they probably is something they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So she said, yeah, she probably gave them their approval and permission. You know what I'm saying? Because she don't care <laughs> she don't care so yeah but anyway um on that note you guys that's all we got don't forget to go with god and let god go with you let's put god first hey. i always put god first